smash art by Doris Chorin. Here's a technique that is really fun, but very messy. So make sure that you have an apron and a big space covered by plastic. You start by pouring paint. So we're going to add several different colors, one on top of each other. So this blue is mixed very well. So I'm just going to shake it and add some more. Oops, it's not blue, it's silver. And it, we keep adding colors. So pick your favorite colors. A colored background like this orange works really well. And then you keep adding even more colors. You make a big pile just like this. And you pile in three to about five colors tops and you put them in a pile like this and then you need a rubber hammer. I'm going to just settle my piece so that it's not at an angle and we're going to take that rubber hammer and hit each puddle. So you take the hammer and just hit the board. See the hammer? Now what? Well, this is what we'll do. Smash, smash, and smash. So the spreading of the paint is random, but also very interesting. And look at that. You couldn't have a more interesting background for the start of a painting. That's great stuff. It's really fun. You never know what to expect. And at the same time, it's exciting. Look at the way the colors mixed. It's really good. You could lean the board so the paint drips in certain ways if you want. Or you could just leave it as it is. Now this is a fairly big board and I think it needs a little more. So I'm going to add more spots of color and I'm going to add it so that it, the whole board is covered more or less. Because otherwise you have these large areas of blank spaces and it's not that interesting. And having more areas like this is going to make it really exciting. Remember to space your pieces out, I mean your spots out, so that it's kind of interesting and different. Uh, some closer, some further away, just something different every time. Now get your hammer ready and smack and hit and hit. Yeah. Make sure you clean off your hammer when you're done. Now, isn't this better? Way more interesting than it was before. So I have different colors on the outside. Same colors, but I didn't add the yellow to the outside piece. And in the ones in the middle that are the focal point, they have the yellow and they're spreading. Now the paint will continue to spread and change until it is dry. So try this out. It's fun. 